Okay, that's what this one. BMW M5 E60 V10 review on highway. Um, about all the top and L. M5 V10, I mean, you can pretty much do it like how you want, like power, sport, and stuff on this car. So this car is really, really nice. 2007, 10, something like that. What's Great up, car. ladies and gentlemen, and Maybe welcome older. to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max, and today we are taking a look at this yeah, yeah. 2005 BMW M5 E60. So this is what? the S85 V10 M5, and yeah, it is a freaking Mental. legend. And today I'm going to show you around True. it, we're going to take a look at the spec, and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now, this car belongs to Emre and he has a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Uh, Emre mm. drives, you can check that out. He Bro, is it's, a it's real a... car guy, a real petrol head, and he has awesome taste in cars. As you can see, he just bought this M5 V10 and he also just bought a Porsche 911. So he really likes his cars and he Money has a flowing. channel Damn. and an Instagram and stuff. So go check it out. I'll put the link in the description if you want to watch his videos as well so a 2005 e60 m5 oh, now five. we've yeah. made a few videos with this car in the past but we thought you know we've never done it on the autobahn we never did measurements 100 to 200 and we never did a pov review with a stock m5 so today i'm going to talk a bit about the car why it's such a legend and why you should you're grinding stream but well, what do you mean what do you mean I'm grinding streaming, bro? I'm grinding streaming for so long right now. You're literally coming after seven months of grinding. I literally said I'm gonna grind full out of it, bro. Like start to end, I'm finishing till I'm dead, bro. I'm not stopping. I'm not, I'm not canceling, bro. Unless I'm... Unless it happens something bad or something. But I'm not canceling right now. There's no way. I'm starting it right now. Finishing right now. Never, bro. Nah, man. It's fun, first of all. Second of all, you're reacting to videos. And I'm get people to know. And till you're dead. And maybe not till I'm dead, but yeah, pretty much. Or could actually buy one, even though... A lot of people are very scared of this car, of the maintenance costs, and you know, it's notoriously expensive to maintain. But there are actually just three things that you need to do, and Emre has done, or this car has had all three of them done. And that means that you can quite safely drive this car. So, the spec, we've got an Alpine Weiss M5, which is quite rare. You don't see them that often in white. Uh, it is an original BMW paint and I quite like it. I'm not the biggest fan of white cars in general, but I do think that the, the E60, well, especially the M5, it kind of works in this color. This car is imported from Japan and it has been taken care of very well. Um, it just feels super fresh, even though it's- not Can you drive? Yes, I can drive, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm having my, my license in a couple of months, hopefully. I mean, hopefully, I mean, I don't know if I am going to have it, but well, hopefully in a couple of months, maybe a month or two, maybe three, I don't know. Maximum three, maximum three. But yeah, pretty much how it looks like right now. Um, I, I can drive. Yes, I can drive. Yes, I can drive. Uh, I mean, hopefully how it looks like right now, I'm going to have it in a couple of weeks. I'm going on a test in a couple of weeks. So pretty much. If you know, you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's done 150,000 kilometers. So, we've got almost brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires and 19-inch yeah. wheels. Now, we've got regular steel brakes perforated discs as you can see braking performance is is quite all right um i'm just you're getting a black box in your car what do you mean black box what do you mean by that what type of thing do you mean i 
just not really able to find out if they offered carbon ceramic brakes on this car because i read on a couple of websites that they did but that it was a very rare option um but i'm not sure because i've never seen it and i never see anything about this so if anyone knows about this let us know in the comments i do know that you can get a, a carbon ceramic brake kit from a bmw m3 you know. f80 yeah, after, and after this video. conversion for this car quite easily so uh that would be an option if you would like to have carbon ceramics now we've got a vent right here to extract air from the wheel well to reduce front lift um, the e60 m5 also got a super lightweight new suspension setup compared to the regular e60 so we've got a new front and rear sub the fuck is a black box i just searched it up and it's saying internet bro what do you mean? we've got stiffer bushing stiffer anti-roll bars front and rear and it also has an independent suspension system that has been redesigned to be as lightweight as possible uh, it's almost completely made out of aluminium so uh, it is a very serious power saloon this car at the rear we've got a massive m5 badge and then of course the quad exhaust this exhaust is stock as it should be i know that you can get this car to sound absolutely crazy with you know a different exhaust like an fi uh, like we've featured on our channel it sounds amazing it really does but i quite like it the way it is because this is just a little bit more sophisticated and you still have that beautiful v10 sound so you can see the sticker here bmw alpine weiss 3 apparently they have two other alpine weiss colors and you can also see a little japanese sticker right there why now, Japanese, the huh? S85 5 liter V10 produces 507 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque. This engine was actually the architecture, the, the base of the engine is the V10 Formula One engine, but of course, you know, it, it really doesn't have that much to do with it. It's just that the base, they started with an F1 V10 architecture, and that is really, really cool. So it's got four valves per cylinder. It's got M double Vanos variable valve timing, and it's got 10 individual throttle bodies. This engine is a freaking masterpiece. And it is also developed from scratch, and you can't find it in any other car than an M5 E60, E61, or of course the M6, the E63, I guess. Now you have you have it when you're a new driver and it can save money from your insurance and fine you know if you go over to this over the speed limit bro i'm not stupid i'm not driving 200 on a fucking thing what do you mean what are you on about man now this engine has always had a bad i mean what 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 type of thing is that is that actually a thing or are you joking Bad reputation for reliability but there are two things you need to change you need to do the rod bearings and you need to do the throttle actuators if you do both of those things you're relatively safe in driving this car and it shouldn't be too expensive or uh, risky I'm not joking Bro. To I didn't know that, this car. Yeah. now the engine is mated to the gear truck smg gearbox in this car as well um, bmw sold just over 19 and a half thousand of these m5 sedans and just over a thousand m5 tourings the sedan in the us was also available with a manual gearbox and they sold around 1300 of those especially that touring version is so freaking awesome you, you rarely see them and uh, as for the manuals as I said, they are for the US market. So if you want one of those, you have to import it from the US. Uh, they are quite sought after now, uh, especially because the SMG gearbox, while it is a lot of fun and it is, you know, very entertaining to drive, it is not the most sophisticated gearbox. So my, I might have one on my car, but you can't take it off if you pay to take it off. All right. Yeah. So a manual will, I think, will last longer uh, because it will be. You know fun to drive forever basically well the smg gearbox you know technological development kind of caught up to to this gearbox all right now 
let's take a look inside. As I said, Emirates car is in really good condition. So we've got this beautiful, what is that, beige, light gray leather is very, very nice. It's in really good condition. And this car also has like the extended leather pack. So you have the entire door panels covered in leather, the top of the dash as well. Um, yeah, it is a very, very nice spec. And it also has the most aggressive side bolster adjustment I've ever seen. Okay, um, let me see. Yeah, I think I can show you guys that. All right, so you've got these two buttons here. And if I press that, you can see how far that goes and how hard and aggressive. It's crazy. It's like you're being and aggressive. taken hostage by your seat. And what? then you also have the dynamic seats down here. Which, Hostage? Uh, the bolster. I got some patchy beer like you, lol. Yeah, bro. He refuses, man. I, I, don't want, I, I don't want to grow it, actually. I actually don't want. I don't want a beer, bro. Fuck that, man. Like, legit. On one side, it sort of blows up in the corner, so you don't, so you don't shift in the corners. But doesn't really work well. You just have to set this nice and tight and then you're good to go. Now let's start it up. And there we go, very civilized. As I said. Such a recognizable sound. It's, it's really easy to recognize an E60 M5. Okay, so um, we've got a couple of buttons down here, one down there, as you know, we've, well, let's select the power button because why not? And then if we want to go to M mode and then turn off DSC, we then have the option to go in the most aggressive setting for the gearbox. There are six and that is the most awesome gearbox mode ever because the gearbox just hits you in the rear with the most massive bang. Oh. Bro, you're driving on, its, so on the 80 zone. It is really insane. My left side. You almost is petty like when on my right. I got something. some air in my Yeah, man. Weird, bro. It's shit, bro. I don't and like that it. It really is. It's me off. The most amazing thing about an E60. Literally, my dad says to me, like, literally shave it and then it grows. Bro, I was saying, nah, man, I don't want a fucking beard. Literally, when, when, to, when to stay without a beard, bro. I think, I think, literally, I think that without a beard, you look better instead of with a beard. But it depends on the face, but they're saying, bro, I don't, I don't look too, way too fat when I, when I have a beard, bro. It's so jokes. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of true, but so, man, what it, the fuck? When you really start extracting the power from that V10, shifting that gearbox in the most aggressive setting. It is such a fun car and it really lives up to the expectation when you do that. But as you can probably hear, when you're not at that red light, the shifts are much slower. So there's a very big difference between the shift speeds, even in the same most aggressive mode. Oh, but the sound is so nice. Of course, this car came out basically in the heyday of V10 cars. And even the main competitor, Audi RS6 C6, also had a V10. Audi S8, Lamborghini Gallardo, Audi R8. A lot of V10s yep. back then, but this definitely is a right, special don't do one. It anymore, feels man. very different from the other Dumb, ones. Yeah. It sounds very different as well. So, 8,250 RPM. Like Red Porsche coupe. What, what, what coupe oh, do you mean? Massive shift. But I have to say that this particular one that Emre has bought I mean, it feels so smooth and it does, it bro. His really name is so well German, bro. Emre. And of course, we've got those modern 
He says, he says it's so German, tires, but it's actually Turkish. Those are just magic tires. They improve any car. And especially on a 17-year-old car, I mean, that is going to make a big, big difference. This car, it, it has so much grip and so little torque, relatively. So it just keeps gripping. Mm. Um, yeah, I did. I I uh, I I mean, I like I like it, but the turbo, what do you say? The Porsche Coupe Turbo. Um, mate, it's mad. I mean, they're quite fucking expensive, but still, man, they're mad. All right, so let's good. take a pause to let that rear-facing car <laughs> go. I mean, that car looks like it's coming towards you, even though it is going away. It is such a mindfuck. Okay, so... You open literally the window. Oh, that is so nice. I mean, it's plenty loud. It's, it, it doesn't need to be any louder than this. It's so good stock. Okay, so let's take it to the Autobahn because that, of course, is where this car shines. When you have the space to run through these gears, that is when the fun happens. Third gear, bro. <laughs> in third now, gear, 70 damn. Top speed of this car was limited at 250 kilometers an hour or optional 305 kilometers an hour. This guy is a but boner from the car. <laughs> <this car, laughs> fucking hell. You can't say that, at man. 260. What the fuck? GPS speed. And there we go. 270 on the speedo. And that's it. And it gets there very easily. So let's slow down a little bit. And do another little run. Don't do that, boys. Second gear. Don't drive like that crazy. Oh, In the 50s, don't shifts. drive like that. That's good. Are so hard. <laughs> Imagine driving in the 50s on 180. <laughs> and then landing somewhere in the fucking... Like, literally in the tree. <laughs> oh, my God. Go, boys. 50 zone. Let's go. It says 500. It's 500. I mean, when the car came out, it was criticized for its looks, for just the sheer amount of electronics that were on this car. People thought it was complicated with the iDrive system that allowed you to set up the car completely to your own liking, but also because they thought the gearbox was clunky and not very sophisticated. And of course, after this, we got a lot of dual clutch gearboxes and everything became more smooth and yep. it had to be like a more that playstation feel while now we look back and Let's think that this is fun you oh. know that this is great that the fact that you feel the gearbox the single clutch seven speed gearbox basically force in that next gear as fun as great as a good driving experience and uh and the dual clutches are, well, a bit boring. Imagine if you crashed in this, this video. This is much more entertaining. <laughs> even though it's Imagine. not the gearbox, especially when you drive slowly. <laughs> Police come, so what happened in the... What, what, what was going on? Why is it so damaged? Yeah, man, I was driving 150, bro. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, give me your license. Yeah, thank you, bro. No problem. Appreciate you. When do I be coming back? Yeah, tomorrow. In jail. Imagine. Uh, around town, you know, it's not the most sophisticated thing, but it's just fun And we like yeah, it's fun. fun. I have to say that even though we drove makes sense An m5 e60 nine years ago. I think it was almost ten years ago 2012 October 2012. I saw a video That one was really bad. I mean it had shit tires and, and I think we got an oil notification as well that it, it needed more oil and it just didn't feel that great. And this one with 150,000 kilometers, 10 years later, 
It's from 2005. It's 17 years old and it feels this fresh. That's a really good sign. It's almost impossible to break traction with these tires and 520 newton meters of torque. And I completely forgot about the 100 to 200 performance. Of course, we also measured that 9.28, which is around the same time as my Mercedes E55 AMG, actually, from around the same year yeah it's a 2004 car um, Not bad. so they are very close together still after all this time but 928 is a very respectable time it's still a fast car and i mean if you if you think about it how cool is it that if you take that e55 this m5 or and Bro. the rs6 c6 they all had you mean similar performance but the, the characters were so different it's really cool to drive these older performance cars now, still. And they still are fun to drive. But the problem is, they're not so much fun to fuel up. So, let's go outside. And put some juice into this beautiful versa, I think it's a thing. M5. And what are we paying, guys? Two euros and... 67 cents for a liter of 102 octane fuel great fucking hell that's expensive so emre thank you so much for taking your car to us really appreciate it as i said he's got an awesome youtube channel so if you're interested i'll link his channel on screen right now or in the description uh, you can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left see you at the next one bye yeah nice review man love watching more nice